Dear all, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will understand the procedure of attribute mapping of SOLIDWORKS with Team Center. This is the agenda of this video. What is attribute mapping? For every SOLIDWORKS dataset, attributes are given name, revision, date, etc., which are needed to map to Team Center. One crucial component in Team Center is attribute mapping, a foundational practice that plays a pivotal role in optimizing data management. It is an effective tool for defining and configuring the properties between Team Center and SOLIDWORKS. Attribute mapping is a site level change. It is a process of identifying and correlating attributes of two or more related entities, typically for the purpose of data integration, data modeling, data analysis, etc. In the below pictures, you can see SOLIDWORKS properties and Team Center attributes. Below steps are needed to follow for attribute mapping, we will see them in detail in the demo. Below tools are the prerequisites for attribute mapping. Let's proceed with the demo. The first step is to convert the attribute map tags defined in swim.xml into a text file. Users can find swim.xml in swim client installation directory. In swim.xml, you can see tags like type map, dataset map, and many. For attribute mapping, you need to edit attribute map tags. In this video, we will map SOLIDWORKS property description to Team Center properties like item name and item revision. Here, in SOLIDWORKS, CAD properties from Custom tab will be mapped to Team Center PDM properties. Once swim.xml is ready, open the Team Center command prompt. As this is performed on the server side, locate the swim folder as shown in the video. Change your working directory to the TC root swim folder. This directory was created by the integration server installation process. Both swim.xml on the client side and server side should match. In the swim folder, locate create attribute mapping batch file. It reads all the attribute map tags from swim.xml and converts them to a text file. In the command prompt run, create an attribute mapping batch file, give users arguments, input file, and output file argument. After running the command successfully, here comes the second step extract all existing mappings from Team Center and make a backup copy. In TC root bin folder, locate export attribute mappings batch file and pass all the appropriate arguments. After running the command successfully, it will collect all existing mapping in Team Center to the text file mentioned in the file argument. In the third step, we need to merge the integration mappings created in the first step with the existing mappings created in the second step. In a notepad, copy and paste the content of both files into a new text file. Save it into the TC root bin folder. After preparing the final mappings text file, Last step is to import the mappings into Team Center database. Run the import attribute mapping batch file, pass the appropriate arguments. This batch file first deletes all existing mappings from Team Center and then imports the new mappings from the provided input file. The merge process described before is required to prevent the loss of existing non integration attribute mappings. The message of saving new mappings indicates that attribute mapping is completed successfully. Now we will validate. We will check whether item name is changed or not. Search the test item. Once searched, open the model in SOLIDWORKS. Once open, check description from its custom properties with name attribute in Team Center. Here you can see name attribute in Team Center have taken value from description property in SOLIDWORKS. This means our attribute mapping works perfect. Let's discuss the benefits of attribute mapping. 
Attribute mapping ensures that attributes that are defined in the CAD tool are applied across various data objects and elements within Team Center. It helps to organize data. Data retrieval is easy with proper attributes. Users can quickly search for, filter, and retrieve precise information. Organizations can perform more meaningful data analysis. Attribute mapping helps in maintaining data consistency. Any change of attribute in the 3D model can automatically update the attribute in Team Center. It streamlines the product development process by ensuring that critical attributes are synchronized and up to date. Like SolidWorks, PLM Nordic Team is experienced also in other CAD integrations as shown here. We have successfully implemented, deployed, and supported all these integrations for various customers. Please visit our Team Center and NX helpline, which is free and open to all PLM community. Here, you will get instant expert assistant, guidance, and best practices for your organization. You can also email us at mentioned email ID. We provide services to these Siemens products and also developed our own smart port application to automate issue reporting and resolution. Thank you for watching this video.